Jimmy Rollins' boy celebrates life this Christmas, the next Joe Pickett novel will be on shelves in February, and the dog nobody wanted found a forever home. We'll take a look at these stories and more from Wyoming's largest news organization. I'm Andrew Rossi, in for Wendy Core with Cowboys State Daily. While other kids in Wyoming were asking their parents and Santa for video games, smartphones, and other devices this Christmas, 10-year-old Talon Reimer of Rollins had a much different wish. He didn't want to die before the end of the year. Talon has been going through months of intense chemotherapy to shrink a giant tumor that was pressing into his brain. The tumor has shrunk to the point doctors consider it gone, but Talon isn't out of the woods yet. Cowboy State Daily's Greg Johnson spoke to Talon's mother, who said it's been an ordeal for him and their family, but they're inspired by his resilience and optimism. It's a rare cancer that one in one million kids get. He still has another four months of chemo, which is always difficult. And his mother was was very frank about how scary it is. And he's scared and they're scared, but he's got a really good attitude about stuff. They're worn out from what they've had to go through, but they're happy for where they are now. Best-selling author and Wyoming native C.J. Box has announced his latest Joe Pickett novel, the 24th in the series, will be available in early 2024. The star of his new novel, Three Inch Teeth, is a marauding and deadly grizzly bear that is apparently hard to track down. As the rogue grizzly attacks people all over the state of Wyoming, Joe Pickett is recruited to be on the predator attack team as they try to figure out what motivates the bear, how it can move so fast, and what's really going on. Fox said he spent time with Dan Thompson, a large carnivore expert with Wyoming Game and Fish, to accurately portray bear activity and said some of the stories Thompson shared with him are very creepy and eerie. Three Inch Teeth is set to be released in February 2024. Christmas Eve did not go well for a bar nun man who was trying to unload a bolt-action rifle when it accidentally went off. No one was hurt, but the bullet landed on the kitchen floor of a neighbor. When the Trona County Sheriff's deputies investigated the neighbor, the man initially denied the incident, then confessed that he was removing bullets from the rifle and thought they were all out of the weapon. So he pulled the trigger to take the tension off the firing pin when it fired. The deputies believe that the firearm was accidentally discharged charged, and both Natrona County and the neighbor decided not to press charges. I'll be back with more news right after this. The weather is turning oh so frightful this time of year, but those excavation projects, they will persevere. I'm Jan Warren for One Call of Wyoming, here to remind you that no matter how big or how small your digging project is, contacting 811 two full business days before you begin is required by state law. So stay safe unwrapping presents, not utility lines. From all of us at One Call of Wyoming, happy holidays. Anyone brave enough to endure the sub-zero temperatures Monday night might have glimpsed a halo surrounding the nearly full moon. Cowboy State Daily meteorologist Don Day said moon halos are rare but not exceptional since it's the moon's version of a rainbow. It's basically like getting diffracted through ice crystals either from high thin cirrus clouds or maybe a layer of moisture that's off the ground where there's ice crystals in the air. So it's the same effect that you get with the sun and rainbows but the moon light will diffract and cause that halo effect. While all rainbows are halos, they appear as arcs from the ground because the light is diffracted from droplets above the ground. But the moon is high enough in the sky for the full halo of diffracted light to be visible. And the dog nobody wanted got adopted. Martha, a two-year-old shepherd pit bull mix with a stray that was brought into the Black Dog Animal Rescue in Cheyenne, and despite graduating from an obedience program earlier this year, was ignored by dozens of rescuers who opted for different dogs. Martha's 214-day wait for a home was over when Shelby Joyce, a resident of Georgetown, Colorado, read her sad story on the Cowboy State Daily website and was spurred into action. Princess Martha, as Joyce now calls her, has a forever home with Joyce's two other dogs. While Joyce is adamant that despite Martha's crooked face, all dogs are perfect. And that's today's news. Get your free digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the subscribe button on CowboyStateDaily.com. I'm Andrew Rossi, in for Wendy Core for Cowboy State Daily.